Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a minute since the last time I filmed a video on Miss Arielle Scarcella. If you remember the last time I made a video about her, I was reacting to one of her videos where she was claiming that being non-binary was sexist. But you know, the world's so crazy and I figured that all of us could just use a nice little laugh today. We're gonna to be revisiting Miss Arielle Scarcello. I'm actually gonna be reacting to this video right here. I think Arielle has kind of given up on trying to hide her transphobia and it's just gone full on. Trans people are taking over, they're trying to change our language, they're trying to hurt gay people, they're trying to eliminate homosexuality. I post new videos every week here on my channel, so if you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead, I'll wait for you. Are you done? Thank you very much. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok to keep us up to date with me as possible. And also before we get started today, I wanna to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. So thank you so much Scentbird and we will talk about them a little bit later on. But yeah, with no further ado, let's get right into today's video. Arielle reacts to quite a few different things in this video today. She reacts to some TikToks, she reacts to some tweets, some Reddit posts, but the one thing that most, if not all of them, have in common is they are about how trans people are hurting gay people, hurting women, hurting children, hurting everybody. I laugh not because women and children are actually being hurt, but because of how ridiculous that is to say that trans people are the problem, but okay, we'll go with it. Roll the first TikTok. Wish I knew before top surgery. It makes you cooler, hotter, and smarter than everyone else. Did you know that being a lesbian makes you cooler, smarter, and hotter than everyone else? Imagine how society would come for gays and lesbians. They already have. Remember that video that went viral a while back of the gays being like, we're coming for your children. If we actually said something like this, like it's literally the idea of the gay agenda. It's what kept us from getting our rights for so long. Miss Ariel, we are not coming for your kids, okay? Like they have every right to be less cool, less hot, less smart than us. I don't care. Not all of us can be this cool, hot, and smart, and I haven't even had top surgery. I mean, I guess I kind of have. Not the same top surgery that they had. I had like the opposite one. Is that better? Do you like that better, Ariel? These trans kids are saying shit like this, getting millions of views, getting total support, changing laws, all because society is afraid of being called a bigot. Wait, wait, wait. What laws, honey? Okay, I understand being jealous of the views. Like, we've all been there, girl. I understand. But what are these laws that are enforcing this trans agenda? Do you care to share? Care to share. Sharing is caring. The only one that I can think of that she might possibly be talking about or referring to is the Equality Act which is a literal non-discrimination law. So like, must be so hard to not be able to openly legally discriminate. Would you like me to play my world's smallest violin? I have a regular size violin. <gasps> I do have a violin tattooed on my leg. Let me see if I can get it out. I did not shave my leg, so I'm not doing that. I'll play it for you, Miss Ariel. Next TikTok. I hope everyone knows that we need to protect the women and children has been used against marginalized people for most of human history. I mean, are they wrong? Fear is a very powerful persuasion technique and conservatives know that and they also know that that's literally their only shot at winning these political battles against LGBT people is to frame them as dangerous, predatory, inhumane, insane, etc. It's happening to trans people right now with the whole bathroom laws and everything like that. But it's also happened to gay people in the past and even to the present day where people say that gay people cannot adopt children because they're gonna corrupt them and make them all gay. These fear mongering techniques have been used for centuries, especially from the right. Like this is a very known like it's very like people people know about this okay you guys so the opinions that we've heard so far are pretty stinky not gonna lie and they're just gonna get stinkier so I think before we continue we should take a quick second to talk about today's sponsor Scentbird now I typically wear a perfume every single day but I was never the type of person that was like oh I have this perfume I have this perfume these are my favorites this is my list of go-to's these are my top perfumes you know what I mean I never had the experience with all these perfumes. I just didn't know what I liked. I always thought it was so awkward to have to go into the stores and like sniff each one and like spray them on the little things and like it just it was so stressful to me so I was like no I can't do it. I can't do it. That is exactly why I love Scentbird. So Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands. High-end authentic perfumes and it's so 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 affordable you get to pick a new designer fragrance every single month for just 16 dollars and if you want to skip a month or two months whatever whatever you can do that with no penalties which is perfect because you know they say these are our 30-day supply but honestly these things last so long it's not just like a tiny little thing like you get a full like this is a lip gloss you get a full like lip gloss thing of product this time i got sent the versace bright crystal absolute this one smells so good like oh my god i cannot even I can't, I can't. You can stick to the one a month subscription, but you can also upgrade it to get more every single month. I also got this one, Good Habit Align. 
Oh my god, again, so good. I've actually worked with Scentbird before, but I got totally new scents this time. I cannot even express to you guys how good these smell. The last one I got is the Deck of Scarlet Power Suit. And like, you guys, they actually have quizzes on their website that'll help you pick out different scents. So if you're like me and you have no idea where to start, they will give you some suggestions based on your preferences. I always have at least one or two of these in my purse just with me at all times, because you never know when you're going to need a little spray spray. You know what I'm talking about? If you're interested in signing up for Scentbird, make sure to use my coupon code for 30% off. It brings it from $16 down to $11. So you guys, do not sleep on this brand. Thank you again so much to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get right back into it. Listen to this logic. If trans women are women, and everyone in your, your leftist community keeps saying protect trans women and protect trans youth, isn't that going completely against what you just said? Damn, girl. I didn't even think of that. You really got me there. She totally just blew up our whole argument. What are we gonna do? Shut the fuck up. The whole argument is based off of trans women going into women's bathrooms, which wouldn't even be a discussion if everybody agreed that trans women were women. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, how could you say these things? But like, I have to just like, I have to stop. I have to just laugh. If you are a young person, if you're a daughter, if you are a woman, would you do me a favor? Please let all of the men in your life know that you can take care of yourself. In some instances, yes, we can take care of ourselves. In others, no. It's not weak to admit that you sometimes as a woman or a child need help or protection from men. Oh, so we are men. Okay, got it. Girl, you were just all over the place today. <laughs> You're right. In general, women are physically weaker than men. But one, trans women are women, don't forget. And two, trans women are not a threat to cisgender women, even if we are physically stronger than them. I'm not saying that we are, but even if we were, we are not a threat to you. And there's no data that suggests that we are, so don't wanna hear it. I know cis gay men aren't shit because they love to eat ass but are disgusted by men's pussies. Weak. Um, dear gays. Remember when we lesbians were speaking out against the homophobic nonsense and we were getting shit for not wanting to suck dick and we had asked for your support and many of you completely ignored it. Well, <laughs> Now they're coming for you. Don't tell us we didn't warn you. She's like, they're coming for you. I warned you. I'm pretty sure this was a joke, was it not? If it wasn't, like I'm there with you, genital preference is fine, you know? But I'm pretty sure it was a joke. <whistles> right over her head. I love how she's like, lefties are going crazy. Look how wild they're becoming. And you know, they're getting worse and worse. Sister, this is a tweet from 2019. We've been crazy. There are lesbians who like men. There are lesbians who are men. <laughs> lesbians who are straight. There are lesbians who are bisexual. There are all this and more. These people are also coming for our language. Like what do these words, e what do words even mean at this point, honestly? A lesbian is somebody who lives as a woman, who has primary and secondary female sex characteristics, who is attracted to other women who live as women, who also have primary and secondary female sex characteristics. A lesbian has to have primary and secondary sex characteristics. I feel like the only reason you would say that is to exclude trans people. But like even then, cisgender women have surgeries that remove their secondary sex characteristics all the time. Are they no longer women? Are they no longer women? Are they no longer lesbians? Do they become straight? You cut off your womanhood. You're now a straight person. Cause you, I don't even know. I don't even know. Are pre-op trans women attracted to women considered straight? Would I be considered gay if I was dating a man and I hadn't had my bottom surgery? Or would it just be him that was considered gay? And once I had my bottom surgery, does that mean we're both like suddenly straight? I might need a study guide on this one, Ariel. A lesbian is also not a non-man attracted to other non-men. Also, can we please stop calling women non-men? It's fucking degrading. Can you just like shut the fuck up, please? Like just shut the fuck up. Just let people use the words that they're comfortable with. Do you pay money to have an exclusivity deal on that word? No. Or like at the very least, just stop making these brain dead videos because it's like embarrassing. I mean, for you. It's kind of funny for me. I need feminism because I get catcalled for wearing a skirt too. And somebody wrote, by who? <laughs> pretty sure they're confusing getting made fun of with being catcalled. I love you, Mars. All I'm gonna say is people in glass houses should not throw stones. Notice how she had to throw in her tweet from her one trans friend to be like, look, I don't just hate trans people. See, I have a trans friend. At this point, it's your whole brand. Like, just commit. Like, we know you're transphobic. Just commit. This I have a problem with. I just feel a lot of euphoria from someone calling me slut, whore, bitch. While I know it's important for these people to feel good in their own bodies and have society see them as the way they see themselves. Can we talk about how these are derogatory terms? So now it's trans women's fault that men have created derogatory words and used them against women. 
I don't see how that like it's also kind of fetishy almost being degraded is turning them on this is what they think being a woman is I would consider it somewhat to be a fetish because it's something that these people are desiring even though it's a negative wasn't your channel literally founded on sex education and sex positivity positivity <laughs> how are you gonna get all fetish and kink shamey now those fetishes and those kinks are what like gave you a career sister Cis gay men would rather shove an eggplant up their asshole than have sex with trans masculine people and personally I hope those eggplants get them sent to the ER. I've heard of plenty of gay men shoving way more things up their ass than just an eggplant. Still doesn't mean that they need to like female genitalia though. I mean sexual orientation is defined by- Oh my god you're literally so boring. Like we've talked about this so many times. Genital preference is fine. It was a joke. Like it was literally a joke. The person said I hope those eggplants get them sent to the ER. Like you think that person's for real? Tell me you're a leftist without telling me you're a leftist. See that smug look on their faces? Every time. It has nothing to do with being trans, it has nothing to do with being gay. It has everything to do with being entitled, smug, little shits that have that look. Girl, are you okay? Those are children. You're like 45 years old, calm down. If gender is on a spectrum, uh, then homosexuality doesn't really exist because it can only exist in a binary. If gender is on a spectrum, homosexuality doesn't really exist. Holy... This person literally just said that homosexuality doesn't exist. I can't believe that it is 2021 and people within the LGBT community are saying that homosexuality doesn't exist. She's trying so hard to make it seem like trans people are trying to do away with homosexuality and erase even the gays now. Now we're trying to control everything, even people who are gay. I'm like, I don't even honestly know what she's trying to say. But when you look at the full clip of this woman, all she's saying is that once you have full acceptance of gender variants or the gender spectrum, whatever you want to call it, acceptance of gay people and bisexual people and pansexual people and everybody else comes along with it. When you break down these rigid stereotypes of what a man is and what a woman is and what they have to do and who they have to love, it creates room for everybody to be accepted. But trust me, girl, if we could erase some of the homosexuals out there, I won't say it. There's one that I would erase. I won't say who. That is the end of Arielle's video. Bravo. My favorite part of the video, when it ended. <laughs> Moral of the story, um, I don't even know. Trans people aren't erasing gay people. They're not trying to hurt gay people. I love the gays. What do you mean, sister? If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe to post new videos every week here on my channel. Thank you again to Sanford for sponsoring this video. Other than that, I think I'm going to go. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.